Right, now there's a little curveball in this question, and I introduced a new jargon term to you, which is enterprise value. What, who's heard that term enterprise value before? Saving yourself a lecture link notice. Who's, that, who's, who's heard enterprise value before? All right, over there, what do you think enterprise value is? I know you were late in. What's enterprise, what's enterprise value, do you think? It's, I think it's what we were calling before the I don't know what the term we use, but the, the, the value of the company. Yeah, do you know what? I should listen to that lady. Your name is, sorry? Carmen. Sorry? Carmen. Carmen. Thank you, Carmen. You should listen to Carmen. She's absolutely right. She thinks enterprise value is something to do with underlying business value. And you don't have this slide in your packs. All right, it's one of the extra ones that you've got to thank George for. I don't think you need to copy it, because we've been through this already. I don't think you need to copy it. Mm -hmm. But what you, need to, what you need to see, this is the learning point really, or one of the learning points is question three, debt-free, cash-free, and enterprise value are both terms that bankers use to describe, thank you, Carmen, underlying business value. They're all about underlying business value. So debt-free, cash-free is very similar to this term that bankers use called enterprise value. It's our view of the underlying business value. All right. So George said to, to me, remember, Mark, we're lawyers. For my lawyers in the room, all you need to think in your head is debt-free, cash-free. In fact, you could get away with thinking that debt-free, cash-free is the same as enterprise value. If you use those terms, if you hear those terms used, enterprise value, think debt-free, cash-free. All right? So for your purposes, they're the same. 